The evolution of Survivor has been such a beautiful thing to watch. Seeing strategies continue to evolve and new ideas be implemented is one of the main reasons that keeps me consistently invested. Trying to think of new concepts and ideas from both a production and player standpoint is really what continues to pull me into Survivor. So I thought, hey, it's about time I put out another video with some new Survivor strategies we are yet to see on the show. So these strategies I will be discussing revolve around the concept of a fake out, to fool or trick your opponent into them believing something may be real that isn't. We've seen some fantastic versions of this throughout the show, through simple fake outs from leaking incorrect information, to more elaborate ones like lying about the power of an advantage. A lot of survivor strategies are about making your opposition believe that something is in fact not true, and I want to explore this further today. Don't fake me out and click that subscribe button to stay true to my allegiance and to experience a longer game within my channel. Alright now let's get into some new, interesting survivor strategies. So the first new strategy I'm going to talk about is actually revisiting something we have seen happen on the show before, but using it in a different way, and that is giving up the individual immunity necklace. Now this play is unbelievably risky, but I think in the correct situation it might just work. Now you might be thinking this is not a new strategy. We have seen people give up the necklace before and it generally fails, with Brandon Hance and Eric both going home due to this and being labelled as some of the dumber moves we have ever seen in the game. Now it's actually due to those moves happening before is why it might just work in modern Survivor, as it has the reputation that no one in their right mind would possibly give up individual immunity, as it is one of the only things that keeps you safe in the game. Now due to this, if I saw someone give up the necklace, I would think they would have to have a backup plan, such as a hidden immunity idol for example. Now in this version as it is a fake out, you don't actually have a hidden immunity idol in your possession, but the perception of giving up the necklace may look like you do. It was blatantly obvious in the Eric and Brandon situations that they were vulnerable after handing over the necklace. So one additional thing you could do to make it look like you had an idol after giving up the necklace is saying something like, vote for me and see what happens, to even play into that ideology more that you do have an idol in your possession. The basis of this move being so bad in the past could be used to your advantage and actually add to why it could work in a modern Survivor season. So let's say it's a final five and it's the last time you can actually use an idol. It's a three versus two situation you're in the minority of two and you win the individual immunity challenge. You give the necklace up and then you say to the majority vote, vote for me and see what happens. The three could not split their vote and now they're highly likely to think you are both immune so they have no other choice but to turn on each other. Now yes this is extremely risky if they can read your bluff, but if not and you do play it right, it really could go down as one of the greatest moves this game has ever seen. So another interesting concept of a survivor fake out, which I believe would only work now in modern survivor seasons, is everyone in your alliance actually telling the opposing alliance exactly who you are voting for at tribal council. Wait what? You're telling me to tell them the correct person you are casting your vote for. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. In modern survivor we have reached the stage where leaked votes from the opposing alliance is so blatantly obvious not the person you are voting for to try to flush out an idol, in the hope that they do play the idol for the person's name you are leaking and then you can steer the votes in another direction for a clean vote out. So if I was playing Survivor and someone from the opposition alliance came up to me and said, look sorry mate, but we are voting this person out of your alliance and there is nothing you can do about it, I would automatically think that that person they are mentioning is safe and not in danger, due to this consistent strategy in Survivor of trying to flush idols. Now especially if everyone in that alliance did exactly the same thing, you would never believe them. So actually leaking the correct person you and your alliance is voting for could end up being genius. It is the ultimate fake out. The alliance will automatically think you're all lying, likely not play their idol on them and risk it on somebody else and bam, you may just squeeze that vote through. Now this again is a very risky strategy and you would have to feel out the people you're playing with. But in this era of Survivor, again, where trying to avoid advantages is a big part of everyone's game plan, I think it is a strategy that could just work. So the next fake out strategies I will be discussing all revolve around the concept of the hidden immunity idol and in correlation with that the theatre of tribal council. 
Now something that happens in New School Survivor is once you have given Jeff your idol, you still have the ability to switch up who you were playing it on moments after it has been played. This has given contestants the ability to read the rest of the castaways reactions, or even for alliance members to jump in and say no, play it on this person instead, causing a change in who the idol is going to be played on. Now one thing we haven't seen too often is theatre from the opposing alliance. We saw a shift from being obviously happy when someone has played an idol on the wrong person, or obviously disappointed when you know they have played it correctly, to just sitting there in silence to try and not give anything off at all. Now if we take this one step further, in order to fake out the opposition when they are looking for a read, is to do the opposite of what they actually expect from an opposing alliance. Now we must remember that there is that leeway of changing who they can play the idol on in modern Survivor seasons. So let's say we're at a tribal council. Someone is about to play the idol correctly, whilst they are looking for a read, rather than the standard disappointment or blank faces that we see today. Instead, everyone in the opposing alliance could sit there smiling, or look at another person nodding. Someone could even loudly whisper saying, dude, we flushed this idol, potentially making the person change their mind about who they are playing the idol on or playing it all together. Or of course the opposite of this as well, when they do play the idol incorrectly, much like Spencer did in Kagoyan after LJ played his idol for Tony, being like, man, unbelievable, how did they know to play it for them? Making it far more likely for them not to change their mind in the circumstance they were considering doing so. So in short, when they play it on the wrong person, the opposing alliance can act extremely disappointed. Or if they play it on the right person, start cheering and going, yes, we got him, noting that there is that leeway for them to change their mind. Utilizing the theater at Tribal is great for picking up jury votes, but also great to potentially sway a vote or an idol play here or there as well. So the last one I just want to quickly mention is something that I'm sure has happened before in Survivor, but it's also edited in a way where the opposite basically occurs in the edit, and that is staring down a castaway you are not voting for when Jeff says if you have a hidden immunity idol and you wish to play it now, now is the time to do so. So in the edit we often see people look directly at the person they are voting for in this situation, which I think is edited that way for the suspense in the case that they do play an idol. If they don't look at them, they often look straight ahead, trying to give nothing away about who they may be putting their votes towards. Instead of this, maybe a couple of people in your alliance should look directly at someone you are not voting for, making them feel like, damn, I need to play an idol now. And maybe if they don't have one, they might try to fish one out from a member of their alliance. Again, this strategy could potentially flush an idol out of the game. Now you couldn't do this at every single tribal council obviously, as the opposing alliance would start to catch on with the trend. But in the circumstance of knowing where an idol sits, and you think you might just be able to pull it out, it could just work. Even leading up to that tribal, at previous tribal councils the same people could look at the person who was getting voted out, to give the opposing alliance more of a reason to think hey, if they are continuing this trend of staring people down, then it is obvious that they are voting for the person they are staring down then hit them from the left side when the time is right. This would be all about timing, as most moves are in Survivor, but again if executed successfully it could also just work. So there you have it, these are some unique fake out moves we are yet to see in the Survivor edit. What do you think of these moves, do you think they could work? Please let me know down in the comments. If you are enjoying these videos, remember to smash like and subscribe, with more videos coming out each and every week. This is Analytical Strategy and we are signing out once again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.